hi everyone welcome back to this channel i'm jane mwangi i help you with personal growth and also attain financial freedom i've been passionate about personal growth and financial growth as long as i can remember and that's why i'm here just to share this information that i get day in day out to help you also elevate your life yesterday we started on an amazing topic about mindset and your financial growth and we talked about scarcity mindset Today, I want us to look at the opposite mindset, the abundance mindset, the mindset that says there is enough for everyone. I can get everything that I want or I set my goals on. How do we shift to that? So today we are looking at the abundance mindset. An abundance mindset is the belief that there is enough resources for everyone to be successful. And also there is more to come for everyone else who comes after to be successful people with abundance mindset they always focus on the opportunities that are available for them or are available in the world they make calculated risk and know okay i can try these opportunities and this is how much i can put in and see if i will get anything in return so they are always looking for those opportunities and they see opportunities in everything have you ever been with someone who is always talking about ideas or opportunities and they are always coming up with a new ideas every time those are people with abundance mindset but don't forget there are other people who have those ideas but they just have ideas they will talk about the ideas but they never take action because they have scarcity mindset people with abundance mindset they always see the positive outlook of life you never see the negativity of life they are always looking at the positive side of life you ask them is this glass half empty or half full? They always say it is half full. But someone with a scarcity mindset, they will say it's half empty. Really? It's half full. People with abundance mindset, they are always thankful for the resources that they already have. They don't complain that they don't have this or they're competing with other people. They are always thankful of what they have. And they know that Right now, they may not be having whatever they want or the resources they want, but they know they can work hard and get it. So they never complain. They just thank God and generosity. People with abundance mindset, they are so generous. They are willing to share information with other people. They always step outside their comfort zone to share their time, their resources with other people and make sure that they can affect the world just because they they're thankful for what they have so they are always looking for ways to affect the world with the resources and the information that they carry or they have are you spotting your characteristics as we are continuing the other characteristic that abundance mindset people have is that they are open-minded they are open-minded to ideas they are open-minded to knowing about even other cultures they are just open-minded they can even sleep at two or four just researching on, a, on an idea they heard about. They will do everything. They will buy resources and read and see. <sighs> My calculated risk, is this worthy? Is this worthy? Are you spotting yourself? I hope you are because I know you're here because you have an abundance mindset. They are resilient. Oui. These people, they never give up. They know failure is a catalytic of success. So for them, if they fail, they're ready to bounce back and they won't complain. They just say, okay, that was just a slider bouncing back. And they bounce back and do even better than they did last time. The benefits of having an abundance mindset is that these people, they have great relationship. Man, you look at them, they have mm, top-notch relationships. And these people also, they perform well and achieve their financial goals or the goals that they set because they're resilient they just go on and they don't give up they have reduced anxiety and stress i remember there is this guy i talked with a few months ago and i asked him why are you always so happy are you never stressed with everything that's going on and he said no shifting from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset to work it's a process and I will show you how you can do this. The first question you should ask yourself, are you aware of the limiting beliefs that you already have? 
my limiting belief was i was never raised in a wealthy neighborhood it's a good neighborhood but not a wealthy neighborhood so when i moved to america and i came to the usa then this is a very different place than where i was used to and i remember i used to call my sister when i got my first apartment i'm like I can't believe this is my house. I and every time I said I can't believe, the more I didn't even believe that I was worthy to live in this house. I was worthy to have all those stuff that I had. So I had to shift that mindset and say, this is my home now. This is my life now. And I started repeating that over and over again. I said, this is my life. This is my life. And I love my new life. As I did that, I didn't know that I was replacing the negative thought with a positive thought. So instead of saying, I can't believe this is my house, I started saying, I believe this is my house. I love this house and I deserve to be here. And guess what? A positive mindset just kicked in. And that scarcity uh, limiting belief was put on hold uh, forever. I don't want it. I don't want it. So I started cultivating my abundance mindset. Each day when I woke up, I used to write down what I'm grateful for. And first of all, I used to write... I'm even today I write I'm grateful for the resources that God has given me. I'm grateful for everything that I have material and non-material stuff. I'm grateful for everything. So for you to move from that scarcity mindset, you have to be thankful every day for every little thing you do. I'm always thankful if you look at my social feeds or my Facebook, my Instagram, I even thank God for having one subscriber follow me or having just one comment from one person and that keeps me growing every day another step you have to take is surround yourself with positive people if every day you have people who are very negative about life they are negative about everything sooner or later you will also become so negative so look for places watch stuff actually you don't even need to step out of your house you can go to youtube you can go anywhere and watch positive talks read books which are positive which are making you change your beliefs or cultivate another mindset that you never have like i'm reading this book becoming by michelle obama and when i read it i'm resonating her life with my life when she says this is the kind of house i was raised in i see myself in the kind of house i was raised in and when she says i'm here trying to do this as the only black american woman and then I look at myself, I'm like, I'm a Kenyan trying to do this in the United States of America. So I resonate with her and I feel better about myself and so positive about myself on the steps that I can make in my life. Take action. Don't just hear about an opportunity and just leave that opportunity to slide. Take action and do something about the opportunities you hear about. Even if you won't sign up maybe for something, take an action on reading about the information that you have been given don't just let information slide you get this information but you don't do anything about it that's how you lose information remember there will be times that you will find yourself sliding back to scarcity mindset so it is a process and it's a long process but the first step is to begin even myself right now i sometimes think about hey is, am I supposed to be here? And I'm like, aye, aye, the, the scarcity mindset is coming back. And that, mm -mm, I'm supposed to be here shooting these YouTube videos and adding value to your life. 